Hi guys, and today we're going to go through output gaps, and there are two types of an output gap. We have a negative output gap, and we have a positive output gap. But before we go through that, I'm just going to run through how the graph is laid out. So on the x-axis we have time, so this refers to the time of development. So if we just imagine this as one big timeline, we have countries like Africa at this stage. No, sorry, just rub that out. Just fill that back in. So we have countries like Africa at this stage, and then we have countries like America at this stage. So it's basically just showing us how developed the country is. So, for example, America here, their potential GDP is at this level, whilst Africa's potential GDP is quite low at this level. On the y-axis we have output, this refers to how much output they can produce. So obviously with less developed countries, you can't output as much, and as you become more developed, you can output much more. So that's potential GDP, that's how much they can potentially produce. In the red line we have the actual GDP, so that's what they're actually performing at. This is just like a target, potential, actual is what they're actually working at. So, for example, the UK, at the current moment in time, is actually doing much worse than its potential. So, when our actual GDP, this red line, is below the potential, so they're not working to their full potential, they're in a negative output gap. So, that means that there, there is uh, too little demand in the economy, and therefore excess supply of goods which which aren't being used up. So this is a negative output gap. This can lead to unemployment, generally known as a bust period, so they aren't very good. So we don't we want to keep away from bust periods and negative output gaps. However, if we follow the actual GDP trend up, it begins to peak here, which should in theory be good. However, we don't want actual GDP rising much higher than the potential GDP because that leads to too much demand in the economy therefore leading to a rise in um, demand pull inflation so we don't want to have really high positive output gaps because that can lead to inflation which can lead to more unemployment in the long term but then we don't want negative output gaps so as economists we should be trying to get this actual GDP line close to this line as possible Thanks for watching guys, if this video has helped you then please support me by liking my Facebook page, the link will be in the description box, that will be much appreciated, and also if the video has helped you then please like it to inform other AS students so that they can be helped as well.